Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for following me. For this episode we want to transform this very nice uh, uh, Itoegawa Juniper into a Shohin. At the moment the tree is 28 cm tall from the edge of the pot uh, to the top and uh, we have to reduce uh, to the 20 cm or even a little bit less uh, to fit uh, the size of this tree into the Shohin category. So the tree now is too big uh, and too wide so we have to compress it and put all the green around the nice trunk uh, to get this tree into the Shohin. As you can see, we have a very nice uh, and interesting character in the dead wood uh, and in the live line, either in the front uh, and uh, the back of the tree. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna study an idea to make this tree more compact uh, and uh, reduce uh, the total height, as I said, to the 20 centimeter. What I'm gonna do, I will start removing the lower big branch and then analyze the different option for the front. What I have to do by removing this is to create more dead wood into the lower part of the tree, but I have to remove this branch because the branch is making the tree too wide to fit into the category. When I remove a branch, I also have to look which live line give energy to the branch itself. Luckily, for this branch, as you can see here, the live line comes from the back. So I'm not gonna use any of the nice uh, live line that are twisting here in the front. Analyzing the trunk, uh, I have a lot of character in this part uh, and the twists are nice uh, and uh, there is also a little bit of a base uh, rather than this side where the first part of the trunk is pretty much flat uh, even if I have a nice uh, live line twisting here but this section is very flat uh, and uh, there is no base uh, at all so I'm gonna use uh, this main one as uh, the main front of the tree and now I'm studying the inclination. Probably according to this uh, part of the green I will inclinate the tree in this way. Doing that uh, I can already reduce a little bit the high, the general high of the tree. As you can see from the new angle, now the trunk uh, has a much better line with a good dynamism, nice curves, nice live line. There is some work to do to this gene that was the branch that we get rid. Plus, I still have this branch that is in the front. I'm gonna take it off and open a nice space where I can use this branch and this one to create uh, my first pad in this section. I have also the movement of this long gene that match perfectly with the direction. And uh, in the future, also putting the tree in a pot and having this angle closer to the edge of the pot is gonna make this part looking more compact and shorter. So now the next step, uh, will be start ginning this branch and creating a little bit more dead wood and shari in the upper part of the tree. But we identify which one will be our future front.
now that uh, the gene is done I'm gonna divide uh, these two live line creating a shari in the middle I'm also gonna reduce this part inside to make uh, the main live line looking a little bit more roundish and smaller. Now that the lower part of the trunk uh, is done, uh, is nice and dynamic, uh, we have to concentrate uh, in the upper part here. So there is this branch uh, starting up here. I'm gonna remove uh, to open up this section and then I'm gonna create uh, some more gin in this area and also reopen up this live line to see the twist uh, of the live lines. the work uh, on the gene is done uh, I can uh, match uh, these two upper gin uh, here creating a line uh, of a shari in this position to divide this live line from the one going up to these two branches and also in the central part uh, I can extend uh, removing this edge uh, and I can extend this shari up uh, here to this gin and uh, a little bit back. Doing that uh, from my front uh, I can have the feeling uh, of the twist uh, and the live line splitting here in the central part and making this uh, taper better. And here we are with the tree after the work on the dead wood. Uh, the first branch was transforming a gene but we kept uh, the movement of the live line uh, around him. Uh, the upper part uh, now is nice and twisty as uh, the lower part of the trunk uh, creating uh, a lot of interest uh, in this little but compact uh, trunk. With the inclination uh, and considering this uh, the new uh, soil level, we can easily create a tree around 19-20 cm, pushing down uh, the top uh, and uh, around uh, the lower branches. And here we are with the tree after the wiring. I start from the lower branches and I went up uh, until uh, all the tree was uh, perfectly wired. Also thinking always about the direction of the primary branches. This branch has to frame uh, 
the side of the trunk, this one has to come down and the apex has to be squished off. So now that everything is wired, I will start uh, setting the lower branch and go up uh, to the top. And here we are with the final result, uh, beautiful uh, 19 centimeter Shohin uh, Itoegawa Juniper. Lot of character on the trunk, uh, lot of movement of the two live lines going up. Uh, I try already to step uh, the pads uh, in, uh, uh, with the idea of showing some of the detail. Uh, now the tree has just to recover, grow, be strong, and next year I can repot uh, in this nice uh, rectangular uh, shoe hole container and uh, keep going for the maturity of the tree and maybe one day, one day we'll be able to show this is a nice uh, showing composition. Thank you.